you may open or you may insert a design into the embroidery screen. Let's first look at opening a design. I'll click on open. And if I want to find my Bernina designs, I want to locate the library on the left-hand side of the dialog box. For Windows 10, to show your libraries, you need to scroll down to the white space at the bottom of the dialog box and right-click in a white spot. Not directly on a word, but in a white space. You'll right-click and select Show Libraries. I can then navigate to my embroidery file, open up Bernina 8 Embroidery, and find the folder that I want to open the design. I'll select it and click on Open. When designs are open, you'll notice the gray background and also notice that the colors in the color palette are limited to those that are used in the design. If I select the design, notice that all the design turns pink. The black boxes are totally surrounding the design. And this is the way a grouped design works. When I click on one particular part of the design, the entire design is selected. If I edit this design at all, I want to be sure and do File Save As and rename the design so I do not save over the original design. Now let's look at an inserted design. I'm going to get a new screen and then click on Insert Embroidery. I'll navigate to that same design and click on Open. When you open a design, the new default color is beige. The design is also grouped when it is inserted, and this is the default behavior of the software to group inserted designs. Notice in the color palette that I have multiple colors to choose from beyond the colors used in the design. When I deselect and reselect the design, it is grouped just like the open design was. Open designs are going to be grouped if they were saved that way. So let's see what happens when we right click and ungroup this design. You'll see that when I click on parts of the design, it's only selecting those parts. Now let's select File Save As and name this as an ungrouped design. I'll close this and then I will reopen that design. The easiest way is to go up to my Open Recent Designs and select that design. You'll notice that the background color was the same as it was saved. And when I click on parts of the design, this opened design that was saved as ungrouped remains as ungrouped. If I wish to insert a design as an ungrouped design, I need to change options. I can click on options, go to the general tab, and uncheck group designs on insert. When I click OK, then the inserted designs will be ungrouped unless I go back and change this option. So you can see that you have many different ways to work with designs, whether you open them or insert them in the software.